Hey, it's Chris, and in today's video, we're gonna look at the Peloton iOS app and see how you can sync your Peloton workouts to Apple Health. And we're also gonna look at some of the new features with Apple Music on the bike and how you can heart songs and then have them show up in your Apple Music playlist and your Spotify playlist automatically in today's video. So you do need the iOS app on your iPhone installed. You sign in with the same email or username and password that you use and you ride to on your bike. So once you get all signed in, then you're gonna go down to more, health app, connect to health app, and then you're gonna turn all categories on. Everything's gonna turn on. Active energy, cycling distance, heart rate, mindful minutes if you do yoga, walking and running distance if you have a Peloton tread, and then your workouts information. So now that you have it all turned on, now you can ride the bike or run on the treadmill, and then whenever you're done, you're gonna to need to come into the Peloton app, just open it up. It's gonna pull that data from the Peloton servers, sync it all to Peloton Health or to Apple Health, and then you're ready to go. So there are a few things I want to clarify though as to what's happening to your data. The first is if you're using your Apple Watch to uh, record a workout while you're using the app. So what's happening there? That's a question that comes up a lot. So what's actually happening is the Apple Health app is going to prioritize which um, data gets written. It's not going to double log both of them. So that's a concern. That's something I was worried about. But I did a lot of research and I've tested it out. And I've, um, and that's actually what happens. So the way you prioritize this is you're going to go into your data and sources and then you're going to click edit and you can actually drag up. The higher it is, the higher the priority it is. So if you want the Peloton app or the Peloton workouts on the bike to be the priority over the Apple Watch, then you'll drag that up to the top. If you want it the other way, you would just drag the Peloton down lower. So that way you can have multiple apps logging data at the same time, but only one of them is going to be the one that gets logged in Apple Health. So this is a much easier way to sync your data. Before, the only way to do this was using the Strava app. That's still an option, and if you're a little more advanced or hardcore and you really want a lot more data, or you want to connect with other people that you're friends with, maybe they ride their bikes outside or they run outside, or you're using your Peloton or your Peloton tread in conjunction with other you know, types of equipment like outdoor bikes, like running outside, and you want to track all that, and you want to be part of a social community, then the Strava app is still a great option for that. But if you just want to sync your stuff to Apple Health, get the credit, close the rings, then this is probably the easiest way to do it. So the next Apple feature I want to show you guys is how to sync your music from the bike. Okay, so you just sign into your Peloton bike here and you're going to go down here to your username. I'm Electric Chris. Follow me if you want to. And then we're going to go down to here you see music. So I knew about this that you could get a list of the songs. So I've only got three on here. So I'm still kind of filling this out. I love it. And I'm going to start hearting more music since I just discovered this. I know it's been out for a while, but I still want to share this with everyone because it's pretty cool. So here, and then we've got connected to. Now, I'm already connected to Apple Music, but you would go to Music Connection Settings, and you can see here Apple Music Connected, and then Spotify if I wanted to connect to either one of those. You'll hit Connect, and then you're just going to sign in. Same thing for Apple Music. It's going to bring up a signing page. You're going to put in your Apple ID, Apple password, hit connect. And now when you're riding and on the bottom left there on a ride, when you see the actual uh, song come up and you hit heart, now it's going to show up on a playlist on your iPhone. And now you can hit play and you have that music. So I think this is an awesome way to take that music and discover new music and be able to listen to it off the bike. Again, another awesome feature from the Peloton bike. If this video was helpful, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more videos like this on Peloton and smart fitness, devices, gadgets, and tech and other stuff, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you have questions, if I missed something or you have other questions about
how this syncing happens or Apple Music or the Peloton in general, put them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you and I'll catch you guys in the next video.